You've been watching Surrender the Secret, a 10 part series that we have been airing here on TV 44. If you have missed any portions of that, we encourage you to go to their website, Surrender the Secret, and you can also look up their Bible study, SurrenderingTheSecret.com. Abortion has been in uh, legal in the United States for a very long time. And if you take a moment to think about the staggering statistics of what that means, it can be a little bit daunting to realize the number of children who are not living on this earth because of that legal choice that was made. Sherry Neuenschwander with the National Helpline for Abortion Recovery and Concepts of Truth is joining us to think about that unfortunate statistic. but. We look back on these years and mm -hmm. the the numbers of abortions that have happened. What is what is the outlook on our country because of that? Oh, you know, Jennifer, our nation is a nation of unresolved grief. Mm -hmm. I mean, one out of four women have experienced the pain of abortion, and uh, women who've had a, a, an abortion in their past have a 81 percent risk of having mental health issues. Wow increased 81 percent increased yeah. risk and um so you know there's a lot of people that are hurting and you know we are in this battle for life mm -hmm. and we want to save babies and we want to save lives and we want to restore hearts those of us that experience the pain of abortion become a very strong voice i've talked about that come in a very strong voice in the battle for truth righteousness mm -hmm. and um you know for life and so abortion recovery uh, programs such as Surrendering the Secret or ours, which is Concepts of Recovery, the Journey, is very vital, giving women and men that opportunity to grieve because once we grieve and acknowledge what we've done and come a strong voice, we can win this battle for mm -hmm. life. And um, our nation is be has been crushed by the uh, abortion industry. I mean, generations have been lost yeah. as a result yeah. of abortion. And they're in the abortion industry and they, you know, they have strong voices, but we have a strong God. Absolutely. Amen. Yeah. And so, you know, that's why my heart is just for the church. We yeah. talked about, you know, the pastors getting involved. Everybody needs to get involved because uh, there are many who are hurting and we need to bring them to the table of forgiveness so we can work together as a team. You know, you want to change our nation and stop abortion? Help those who are healing, who are hurting from abortion heal. Reach out to them, help us to become a voice. And like we said, you know, maybe not a strong, maybe not a uh, public ministry, but we can share one-on-one -on -one and help someone um, move closer to the Lord. We need a revival in this nation. Uh, we need a revival, but we also need uh, an opportunity to uh, work together as a team to, to win this battle. And one way is abortion recovery. Understanding what abortion recovery is, that it is available. Join hands together, pregnancy centers, churches, families, businesses, um, ministries, um, we need to work together, amen. And let's talk, in just a moment, we're gonna talk about how that can happen, but you said something that really resonated with me is the number of people in our country that are living basically every day of their lives in that grief, in yeah. that life. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, um, we think about, and, and it's so important to be saving the unborn babies. That's, yes, and, we, and we praise the women who make those decisions, which is very important, but we cannot forget mm -hmm. the ones that have had the abortions and are now recovering, or the family members that have just because by association have had to deal with that hurt. Mm -hmm. um, and as I think that 81% yeah. more, more likely to have mental Things. If you think about, we have an 81 percent risk, uh, you know, of having yeah. mental emotional. Yes. And if you think about the mental emotional problems that exist in our country, anyway, I mean, that's skyrocketing. You look at the the, the the medical prescriptions that are given out. All those things. It's all of the same depression, anxiety, all of that stuff. It just it makes me look at our country and think about the importance of of healing that root. Right. You know, healing that root of that woman that now is working in a big job somewhere and is leading her successful life, but behind closed doors is still hurting. Amen, amen. I mean, it is a deep-rooted grief, and you know, and yeah, we, 
we kind of suppress it and, and try to go on and, and we can be as successful as we can, but we're not happy. Mm -hmm. and, and there's a part that's missing. And you know, you have, when, you, when it comes to abortion, you have two victims, one, the baby that lost his life, but also the wounded heart of the mm -hmm. woman or the man that experienced the pain of abortion. So we have a lot of wounded people, yeah. you know, that's walking around that is in need of just to be told that not only God loves them and can mm -hmm. forgive them, but to understand that it is a grief that needs to be processed and have the opportunity to do that in a safe, healthy manner. And that's what abortion recovery does, gives you an opportunity to grieve and process that grief in a healthy, biblical manner. Mm. Um, ours is all based on, on the Bible and it's a safe place. And once we do that, our nation can be changed as a whole because you, people get healthy in mind, body, and spirit. Mm. And you, you can't do that unless you acknowledge what you've done repent and allow yourself to have that opportunity to grieve. So what is the step that someone can take when they are saying, yes, I, I, I'm ready to be done with this pain. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to move forward. Who do they call? What do they do next? Well, I'd encourage them to call the National Helpline for Abortion Recovery, 1-866-482-LIFE. Um, they can go to their pregnancy center. Sometimes if you know they go to a pregnancy center, they may offer abortion recovery program. Um, we work with uh, pregnancy centers and different organizations. So no matter where you're at, we, mm -hmm. you know, you call us. We work with um, um, all 50 states. We work with uh, pregnancy centers and different organizations. We get calls from Canada, Europe, Puerto Rico. So we go internationally too. And so no matter where you're at, we can connect you to uh, a local resource. So I really encourage them to just call one eight six four eight two life It's... We're talking about a heavy subject. And so mm -hmm. when I say it's encouraging, I want to make it come across correctly, but it is encouraging to think about the fact that there are these tools that God has placed so that so many, yeah. these, so many of these victims, the ones who are living every single day and are dealing with that hurt can experience that restoration. Amen, amen, like surrendering the secret. And there's several others out there, but I encourage it to be a biblically based um, there are some secular, um, maybe abortion recovery um, programs, but I, there's no healing without Jesus Christ. So yes, there are several out there that if you would call, we would get you connected to the right people and begin to take that step. So I encourage anyone to call the helpline. And they can call that helpline 24 hours a day, Amen. is that right? 24 seven, yes ma'am, we are there to answer the phone, day or night, rain or shine. 24-7, we are there. Can they call with questions? Can they call with prayer requests? What, what, what are they gonna be told no to and what are they gonna be told yes to? <laughs> well, we are there to share the good news of Jesus Christ and connect them. So if they wanna call and just ask questions, if they have a, a daughter or a son or a relative, a loved one that's hurting, and they just wanna find out how they can help, call 1-866-482-LIFE. We will pray with you, we will share scripture with you, we will cry with you, we'll laugh with you. We will make sure that you get connected to someone that can help you, but we are there 24 seven and we want to encourage you, so call. And if they call, they may even talk with you, right? A absolutely, I, I'm on call two times a week and um, on the weekends, so they may even get me, yes. Is there anything that you could share with our viewers? If we've got a mom out there, a dad, a grandma, anybody who's got that deep hurt, anything you can tell them just to encourage them right now? I would just encourage them that, you know, God knows their pain and their hurt and their losses too. Because if, you know, they're a grandparent or a parent um, who has lost um, a loved one by abortion and have been touched by this, um, just know that God has his timing, amen? And if you're listening to this here at WTLW, um, it's no mistake. Call 1-866-482-LIFE and talk to someone. We'll answer your questions, spend some time with you, and pray with you. So I encourage you to call. All right. Thank you so much, Sherry. Thank you also for the way you have taken your testimony and your life and allowed God to use it to impact hundreds, thousands of lives. What a blessing that is. Well, thank you. To God be the glory.
That's right. We want to remind you as well that the Concepts of Recovery Journey is coming up in March. That is a special weekend healing journey that you can call the National Helpline to find out more. That's going to take place right in this region. It's a very small, intimate gathering, but it just might be the steps that you or someone you know needs to get to that healing process that God so badly wants for you. Finally, we just want to remind you one more time that number on the screen it could be one of the most important calls you make. National Helpline for Abortion Recovery, 1-866-482-LIFE. Thanks for watching.